there is a race in death school to get as many souls as possible because they have scattered around chaos. You are one of the students in death school and you'll be mentored by a god who's going to help you try and find as many souls as the other people. That is the premise of Soloing. Soloing is a game by Play With Us Design, designed by Shi Cheng, company based in Taipei, in Taiwan. Now, I got this copy. They were very kind to give it to me at Spiel 2022, even though the game was released in 2019. But is this game going to be worth the amount of money that you have to spend to get your hands on it? Let's do an unboxing. So play we all. Play With Us game has released a number of very good games like Vitamos, Vitamos Conspire and so on and so forth and this is slightly different because the previous games I have done unboxings for were social interaction games so we need a number of players. This time though it's just a game for two players. That plays in about 15 to 30 minutes and ages 6 and up. So this is a fairly simpler game and because it requires fewer people easier to get to play. But what is it like inside? What was the production like for the game? I love the, the cover. The, the cover is so, so cool. Um, it's, it's, it's silly, it's whimsical, it's irreverent, it's very simple. And it has this kind of halloween -y sort of feel to it with the pumpkin color. So I like that. The back shows very well what the game is all about. And funnily enough, this time, instead of going for the Chinese, but maybe I just got the Chinese edition of the games in the past, this time is full English. So obviously they did this with a more commercial aim in mind, which is very good because they should be known by a lot more people. And these games should reach a lot more people. So let's open this box. Oh, mystery solved. Okay, this is the sticker that they put on the game. Oh, because this is very different. The Chinese version of the game is very, very different. The back. I have to say, I do prefer this illustration. This is very good because it shows the game. And that is very, very enticing. Hmm. Very interesting. So. Same box as with Vitamores and Vitamores Conspiro, so very strong. That's good. And this time, well, well, we see some baggies for these tokens. Let's find out what they're like. Okay, so we get an urn, and on the other back there's an urn, and another urn, and this looks a lot more like an Egyptian urn. So, okay, we, we got different tokens, all double-sided, with different items that I guess we're going to be using around the game. Quite, again, very strong. They have, uh, if this is the third game that I opened from this company, and all of them have got really, really strong tokens, even for the big ones. So that is amazing. I don't think there is any metallic part in this game, but that's fine. I know I can be very messy. Now we get some cheats. These are clunky, these are thick, these are lovely, and these are painted. Oh, look at the little rubber little face. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. I'm guessing they're rabbits. I don't know. They're souls, perhaps, maybe. They're ghostly rabbits. But they look very sad. Oh my god. 
for little things. Anyway, um, I'm just being silly here. They, uh, they are both sided. Now, one thing that I really like about this is that they are kind of embossed a little bit and then painted. So they feel very well made. They, they feel good in, in my hands. It feels excellent. Okay, let's put them aside. And the board, I feel bad opening this. I don't want to take it out of the plastic um, selfishly because it's going to be very difficult to put it back in. And I am one of those who put it back in. Oh, this is a very fine, lovely, lovely cloth which serves as a playing board. On the one hand, this is very good because it's going to fit absolutely anywhere. On the other hand, I wonder why they went for this instead of going for a cardboard because we could have just used either four cards or make it into a board. I wonder if this was a cheaper or simply an artistic decision, but I do like the printing. I do like the illustration and the size is enough to host all the chits necessary. So an artistic decision that I support. And then we get the rules in different languages. Let's go for the English one for obvious reasons. Same format as Vitamos and Vitamos Conspiro. Very short. This is obviously a much, much simpler game. And we have two different game variations. We have the simple mode and the standard mode. So we get the game parts, summary, simple mode, the game flow, and then the standard mode, the character, and uh, Hei and Bei Wuxiang, and Anubis and Osiris. There you go. That's it. Easy to play. And now we have a small deck of cards. Again, quite thick. I really like the material that they are using for these cards. It, they feel very good in, in, in my hand. And the only thing is that they are not laminated, so you have to be careful if you're eating anything because they will get stained very easily. And then we have, oh, I love these illustrations, they're so good. They are so seriously, amazingly good. Absolutely amazingly good, love them really really like them i've seen the credits illustration by Tzu Huang Fei and Ke Xing Chang i hope i'm pronouncing your names correctly my apologies if i am not uh, but very good illustrations the artwork is absolutely lovely <laughs> very very nice indeed <laughs>
So that, that's it. This should be an easy game to get to because it's just two people. So I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out. For some reason, it has a 6.4 score in the board game Geek. So if you have already played this game, I would love to hear what you have to say. This has been rated by 207 people. So I wonder what they are saying. I will definitely, definitely take a look. But I would love to hear from you. So please leave me your, your comments and let me know what you made of this game. But until the next time, I hope you enjoy it and I will talk to you very soon. Take care. So play wheel.